Yeah, do you have a question? Um, I have an error in my code. Um, um, there's like this, it says that word, it, uh, the variable that I've created isn't um, defined, although I have defined it in a previous line. Okay, I, will, I can answer your question once we get the whole class started. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think there should be like three more people coming, but they'll just come in. Um, yeah, okay. So I'll get to your question in a second. Okay, so welcome back um, to the Python programming class. This is week um, seven or six or seven. Um, yeah. So our agenda today is just, um, again, work time for um, your projects. If you have any questions, um, just ask. And yeah, we're, um, me and Alicia are just gonna be tools for you guys to complete your projects. So make sure you ask any questions that um, you have. Okay, oops. So we're gonna go ahead and do work time. I'll stop sharing and then I will help with it. Okay. Yes, yeah, so the problem that I have is my word two is defined over here. Um, let me see, yeah. Yeah, and then I'm mentioning it again over here. Okay. At that so line, it says that it is not defined. Um, hold on. So um, the reason why it's saying that is because you initialized it here, right? So it'll only define that variable if this condition is true. And so this condition right now um, is saying that if it's false. So this technically this variable would never have been initialized, if that makes sense. Oh, uh, technically I shouldn't even be mentioning that variable, so. If you don't need it, then you can delete it, I mean. Oh yeah, so you, uh, this isn't yeah, you don't need that um, input if you want to guess the word. It should just continuously ask um, to guess the letter until you have like zero lives left or until you say that you want to guess the word. Yeah, that's why um, I'm asking the user, does he want to guess the word? Does he want to guess the word? Uh, okay, so instead of doing it like another line, do you want to guess the word? Um, just put it as a, like, wait, let me show you, hold on. Okay, so let me screen share. Oh, I need to have my cookie. Hold on. Okay, yeah, so instead of like having it, do you want to guess the word each time? Just say like, um, you can guess the answer by entering guess answer. So you could just print out like the instructions to the user in the beginning so that they know like um, when it says guess a character and you wanna guess like the actual answer, then you just type guess answer and then it'll let you guess the word. Okay. And one more thing, like yes. how do I, how, how do I uh, comment a multiple lines? Um, it's three um, apostrophes. Three apostrophes. That's... Yeah. Yeah, and then you end wherever you want to end. And like three apostrophes. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Um, I think um if you guys weren't if like some of you weren't here last week, um, we basically started um the projects. I think two of you guys weren't here, or one of you. So yeah, 
just tell me in the chat if you weren't here last, last week because I don't recognize some of you. Because you need to join the Google Classroom in order to start the projects. And also, um, if you haven't already, put the link to your REPL um, in the Google Classroom so that I can see your progress.
Okay, so um, I think a couple of people didn't join last week, so I'll just go over the project. So share screen. Um, okay, so basically um, you're writing a program to play Hangman. And um, once you click run, it should say, let's play Hangman and then give you rules on how to play. Um, and then you would guess the characters for a specific word that's part of a list that's chosen randomly. So you have to choose a word um, randomly using the random uh, module that we talked about. So um, you guess a character, um, you would just type in any character, like let's say A. And so for example, if the letter is not found, then it deducts um, one point from the number of lives. So this is actually wrong, it should say 10 lives. Um, and then you keep guessing until um, you can guess one of the letters or you can guess one of the words, uh, the whole word. So I'll just keep going and see if I can get a letter. Okay, yeah, so um, C was part of the word. So it replaced the dash with the letter. And then um, let's see if I can learn out of lives. And then if you want to guess um, the word itself, you would say guess answer. And then if it'll say, if the guess is wrong, then it'll be game over. So then you guess answer like um, a banana. And then it's wrong, so then game over. And then it'll tell you what the word was. And then it'll ask you if you want to play again. And um, yeah, that's basically how it's going to work. The project is due um, next week, next Sunday. So I will give you the um, Google Classroom. Give me one second. Okay, so this is the code for the Google Classroom and then project specifications, I'll give you the link to that in the chat. Pause this. And then this is the project specifications document. Um, okay. Oh, sorry. I just sent that to one person. Okay, so that's the link to the project specifications. And the rubric is on there too, so make sure to read through the rubric. There's also a bonus um, section. Okay, Rithik, do you have a question? Yeah, I'm not sure how to do the guess word thing because my program is only programmed to um, uh, uh, take an input of a certain letter, not guess word. Okay, so let me see your code. So let's see. So I think here what you can do, um, when there's an input, just basically like you can like check like, how do I explain this? Oh, sorry, that's wrong. You can say like, if user guess letter is guess answer, then do whatever you'd have to do for guess answer. And then else, so then that would be for any other character, it would just run, this code that you have. Does that make sense? So like an if else loop. Um, I don't understand. Um, you don't understand? Okay. Um, so basically, 
you want to check what the user is inputting, right? What um, what they want to input into, sorry, that's wrong. What they want to input into guess the letter, right? So if yes. it's either a character or if it's the word or guess answer. So uh, in order to check that, you would need an if else loop or so, if else loop. So what you're saying is like, I can make an input called this. Um, I can't see what you're typing. I can't see what you are typing either. Um, oh, really? Okay. Um, I'm refreshing my page um, and, and now I can ah. see. Okay. Um, I was typing here. So can you see that? If else. Mm, yeah. Yeah. So you would basically say, um, you can either do it like if um, it's a character. So then you would have like an array of like all of the characters and you'd say if it's in this list, if the um, input is in this list, then you can like replace the dashes or um, remove a life if it's wrong. Or you could, what you could do is you could just say, if it's guess answer, then do whatever you have to do for guess answer and then else. So like that would be for any other character. Okay, sounds good. Okay. I'm going to open a breakout room. Um, and Shakur, you could just join it. Or actually, I'll assign it anyway. Okay, I'll be right back.
Okay, um, to whoever joined, um, we're just working on our projects right now. And if you have any questions, just raise your hand.
Um, I think I'm done. You're done? Okay, let me check your code. Okay, so one thing um, I'm noticing is if you guess the wrong letter, it should print out the dashes again. So it, it doesn't replace any of the dashes, but it should print out the dashes. Um, The ending is a little weird. It's asking me for like the character again or guess the letter again. But as soon as it hits zero, it should say game over. But yeah, pretty much that's pretty much it. Okay, um, I'll fix that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Chikori, basically what I was talking about was if you see this invite, like you have your REPL and then you have your code. Um, if you see this invite button, if you click on it, and then if you copy this link, that's the link that will allow me to collaborate.
Um, my code doesn't work all of a sudden. Okay, I will. And by doesn't work, I mean like it doesn't even print the print statements. Ah, um, you see, play again is equal to yes. Right now, play again is an integer zero. Yeah, um, I'm planning on like putting a play again equal to input. Do you want to play again? Okay, so I think what you can do is instead of having it be like a yes string or a no string, um, what you can do is you can initialize it to a Boolean. So like true or false. And so like if they want to play again, then while play again is equal to yes, you would put like under here, like if play again is equal to. Like, um, I haven't, um, oh, what can I say? I haven't um, put in the input yet. So I'll try putting in the input. Maybe that's the problem. Um, If you want to put in the input, you have to put it inside the loop. So initialize it to something like yes for now and then change it once you have the input. All right, sounds good. I think I finished my code. Okay. Okay, yeah, so same thing here. So like once it reaches zero lives, it should just immediately break the loop and say you lost. Okay, I see. Mm -hmm.
I think I'm done. Okay, let me see. Okay, it actually looks really good. Um, just one tiny thing, um, when you end the game, like when you say game over, congratulations, after that, just um, put the correct, um, like the correct word, um, just print that out. And then I think you're done. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Also, um, print out the instructions at the beginning. Um, when you say let's play hangman, after that, just print out the instructions for the game. And there's one more thing. Um, oh, yeah, I think that's it. You can work on the bonus if you want. I don't know the um, um, rules that I'm supposed to put in. Um, so could you uh, present your screen into the demo where it shows the rules? Yeah. Give me one second. Um, I think I'm done. Okay, awesome. I think um, this is also the end of class, so I'll screen share.
Okay. So thank you guys for coming. Your homework is to work on your projects. It's due next week at 3.30. So make sure to get them done. Um, have a great week and email us if you have any questions or any problems with your code or anything. Thank you guys. Um, yeah. Could you check the code? Yeah, I'll check it. Hold on. Pause this. Okay, um, the winning thing isn't working. It's saying you won and then it's saying you lost. And then good, you printed out the word and then do you wanna play again? Oh, also, um, if you get a letter right, don't subtract one from the lives. It should stay the same until you get another letter wrong. Okay, um, sounds good. But yeah, oh. I think we're good. If oh, you finish, yeah. Sorry, what were you gonna say? Uh, I'll work on that, yeah. Okay, yeah, and if you finish it early, then you can work on the bonus. Yeah, and if I finish the bonuses early, is it, uh, should I just submit the thing to see yeah, that you can submit it. classroom? Yeah. Okay. Submit, um, submit it as a .py file, or you could just submit the link, anything works. Y yeah, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. All right, if you guys have any questions, you can unmute and ask. If not, you are free to leave. AIML, I'm not sure if there is. I think um, you would have to restart the meeting because I'm gonna end the meeting.